Right, so this is a quick review on the Hi-Fi Mifo AirFit 2s. Um, there's some headphones I got sent, pretty decent. Um, they're like kind of fake AirPods-ish. Um, and I'll review them if they're good for cycling. Right, so here's the unboxing, the Hi-Fi Air 2. I wouldn't say like most outrageous boxing I've ever seen, but to be honest, stuff like this does not really matter too much in my opinion. Um, here's the case, pretty nice. Um, just open up, pretty similar to AirPod style. Um, and yeah, aesthetics look okay. They've got a little uh, USB-C, but we'll get onto that in a minute because they don't actually uh, give you a charging port, which some people kick off about. I reckon this is okay because everyone has USB-C, different earbuds, and then just the instructions and not much else to say. Um, so we'll go through kind of like just good parts, bad parts. So first of all, aesthetics wise, I would say pretty nice to be honest. Uh, I think they look basically like every other kind of AirPod-ish uh, style. But so for me, it's fine. Um, they can fall out, so I would like try and change the AirPods. Obviously, this is a kind of cycle review, so they fall out, really not ideal. Um, but uh, I think that was more just user error of not changing the buds. But anyway, nonetheless, they look okay, in my opinion. Um, and yeah, not too bad. Audio quality, I would say, is okay. It's not unreal, but I also would say better than like over the ear stuff, which is nice. I'd say the biggest win for this product is noise cancelling. Noise cancelling is really good. So when, when you're on a climb, for example, if you put it on like full noise cancelling, then you can't hear anything apart from your tunes, which is great. Um, there's also transparency mode where you can hear some stuff, um, which if you'd like to hear traffic, you can hear traffic. I think it's pointless, but anyway, no need to ramble too much. Um, apart from that, I would say that at really high speed, it doesn't work the noise cancelling. That's kind of expected because the wind is not consistent. Otherwise, I'd say decent. So in terms of like kind of cost, I think they're not crazy expensive um so i would say they're a decent product like if you're going to buy them um, there's a lot of different options on the market so it's kind of hard to say like they're the best um or and i also haven't tried out that many different ones so i'm not really sure in terms of comparisons much but if someone's saying will they work yes um do they have nice noise yeah i'd say it sounds fine are they noise cancelling yes especially at like low speeds i would say very good um and battery life that's the last point battery life very good haven't really had to charge them very much they just last forever and pairing process is also incredibly easy as well you literally crack them open put the blue bluetooth on your uh, on your phone on and then you're good to go on the tunes so overall i would say they're pretty decent um we can have a little look on the back of the box what it says uh noise cancelling um mono and dual phone call i haven't really done phone calls on them uh they've got the touch key as well actually we can go talk about that so on the side you can change like volume and everything else is a bit confusing i don't really like doing it on that because it's just i feel like i can't remember all the instructions but um i think it's like one is down volume one is up volume and then the other one does transparency if you hold it like transparency or noise cancelling but apart from that i'd say decent um so yeah all in all not a bad set of headphones um but yeah anyway cheers for watching hope you enjoy see you in the next one